So I've only just reviewed Xiaomi's Mi 11 Lite, one of the freshest budget smartphones to hit the UK. And just to keep me extra busy, Xiaomi has now launched a 5G model, which boosts the performance and shock amazement adds 5G support as well. Now the Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite 5G will cost you from 369 euros. At the time I shot this video, there wasn't an official UK price, but that should hopefully be announced by the time this video actually goes live, in which case I'll update down in the video description. But enough of me banging on, let's whip the Mi 11 Lite 5G out of that box, take you on a full on tour of the hardware and the software and for more on the latest greatest tech please do pog subscribe and ding that notifications bell cheers all right so in the box you of course get one xiaomi mi 11 lite 5g one chunky ass adapter one usb cable even says that it's usb in case you're a bit confused and lots more goodies in here including a pokey pin device to get your sim in there you've got uh oh a usb type c to 3.5 mil headphone adapter so no headphone jack here and saving the best for last, a good bit of condom case action. So that's what you'll find inside the box. Now let's turn our attention to the most interesting part of all that, which is, of course, Xiaomi's Mi 11 Lite. 5G and once again Xiaomi has absolutely outdone itself because this smartphone just like the original Mi 11 Lite is incredibly slim and lightweight. It's a 6.55 inch handset but despite that it weighs only 159 grams so you should be able to squeeze it into even fairly skinny skinny jeans and you should barely even feel it when it's in there. Now this is the truffle black model but you can also grab the Mi 11 Lite 5G in citrus yellow or mint green and I'm not gonna lie citrus yellow could actually be renamed piss yellow but I do like the mint green version that looks nice and bright and colorful this truffle black model looks perfectly smart as well if not particularly thrilling and of course you do have the little bit of text on the back there to kind of ruin the aesthetic slightly but it is anti-glare glass which basically means it's a frosted finish to prevent fingerprints and greasy marks from ruining it and like the rest of the Mi 11 family you've got that very funky camera chassis which barely juts out of the arse end at all so overall rather pleasing on the eye and I definitely just can't get over how light this thing is and it's good news on the ruggedness front as well because you've got a bit of Gorilla Glass 6 up front to help protect that display from scratches. Although there's no IP rating for water and dust resistance which to be fair is fairly standard for a budget smartphone that's quite tricky to find you'll have to look at something like the Xperia 10 from Sony if you want a bit of that water resistance action. And it's just prize open the SIM tray and you'll see here you've got space for either two SIM cards at the same time otherwise you can use that second SIM slot to slap in a micro SD memory card to expand the storage. Alright, hopefully we've got some juice in that battery already. Yes, we do. So I will get the Mi 11 Lite 5G all set up and then we can tour the rest of it. Alright, so the Mi 11 Lite 5G all set up and ready for action. And any Xiaomi smartphones out there will know exactly what to expect here because it's the latest, freshest Android 11 with, of course, a bit of Mi UI 12 slathered on top. And as always, this packs absolutely tons of bonus features on top of all of the standard Android fare. So, for instance, because the Mi 11 Lite 5G supports an OLED screen you do have an always on display that you can turn on it's actually turned on by default and there's quite an eclectic collection here from random bullshit mantras to usual analog and digital selections plenty of stuff that's quite out there as well quite good if you've been huffing the old hand sanitizer got the game turbo more which can boost the performance for you a bit of Genshin impacts or what have you which I will show off when we actually do a good bit of gaming on this bad boy and you got the video toolbox feature which I absolutely love so for instance you're enjoying a uh, random YouTube video but you don't actually want to look at the bold toss pot is presenting it all you want to do is listen to the audio uh, potentially while you're wandering down the high street with a phone in your pocket for instance all you got to do is go to the play video with the screen off feature and then when you hit ok if we bump up the volume you'll see the video is still playing it's wirelessly designed for xbox owners and you do have a limited selection of physical controls you got all kinds of other tools in there as well which allow you to record little clips take a screenshot and you've even got some filters that you can play around with as well to for instance make the video black and white or give it a retro style appearance and one of my favorite miui 12 features is the fresh new control center as well which you can drag down by pulling down on the right hand side of the screen and this just offers up a whole bunch of quick easy access toggles and thankfully miui 12 does progress towards a more stock android vibe as well so for instance you've got the google discover feed set there by default you've got the apps tree of course thank god one of my only real complaints is the fact that you get a lot of crapware packed on here by default so the likes of facebook bugger ye off little linkedin which you just can't seem to escape from these days and the only one of xiaomi's apps that can be installed that actually bother to use is the security app this is pretty good it acts as kind of a hub to all kinds of useful resources and features uh, which can allow you to just basically check your phone isn't getting bogs down with all kinds of crappy files and other stuff that you don't use you can test your network speed set up a block list for any spammy uh, calls that you're getting overall handy stuff 
And the Mi 11 Lite 5G does have NFC on there, does support contactless payments, but only in some regions according to Xiaomi's websites. You might want to dive a little bit deeper if you live outside of the UK just to make sure your own particular region is supported. As for your storage needs, we've got 128 gigs as standard here on the Mi 11 Lite 5G, but as I mentioned before, no micro SD memory card support to expand that. On the security front, you've got full face unlock support, but of course, if you're wearing a face mask, then you can always rely on that edge-mounted fingerprint sensor, which despite being super skinny, is super responsive and pretty damn nippy too. So let's have a shifty at Xiaomi's 6.55 inch AMOLED display, and it is a bit of a stunner as usual. The Full HD Plus resolution, 2400 by 1080 pixels, keeps images nice and sharp while they're just checking out your photos, or kicking back with some Netflix or YouTube in a bit of downtime. Speaking of Netflix, you've got full HDR streaming support, this is an HDR 10 plus certified panel so definitely your supported movies and TV shows will look absolutely gorgeous nice crisp contrast and natural looking colors here on the Mi 11 Lite 5G however on the max style brightness the Mi 11 Lite 5G certainly won't singe your retinas or anything so some of the more moody shows and movies I did struggle to see what was actually going on at times dive on into Xiaomi's display settings though and you can play around with the likes of the color outputs so you can get it exactly how you like it play around with the likes of the color temperature and everything and if you go into refresh as well, you'll see it's set to 60 hertz by default, but you can bump that up to 90 hertz, which I definitely recommend doing if you want that nice smooth experience. Something not as smooth here on the Mi 11 Lite 5G as it is on the likes of the Google Pixel phones because you don't have that heavy launcher sat there on top, but still definitely smoother than the likes of the iPhones, which top out at 60 hertz. And the Mi 11 Lite 5G also says up a stereo speaker setup, so let's just bump up the volume. Microphone sticking out of the Bio Player portals. That's because it uses what Bang & Olufsen has termed a virtual boom arm in order to pick up on your voice. And this comprises... So that top speaker, the earpiece effort, definitely not putting in as much effort as the bottom mounted speaker, but it's still reasonably balanced. And on that top volume, coming through fairly loud and clear, a little bit tinny, but pretty much as you'd expect. But I uh, sadly, there is no headphone jack here on the Mi 11 Lite 5G. Presumably that was sacrificed by Xiaomi in order to help make the handset so deliciously slender. So yeah, you're either stuck using the bundled dongle if you want a wired connection. Otherwise, there is Bluetooth 5.2 support on here as well. And that seems absolutely fine. So the brief bit of testing I did right now, a nice strong stable connection and a decent range on it too. Now, one of the main ways that the Mi 11 Lite 5G differs from the standard Xiaomi Mi 11 is the performance. What you got slapped in here is the Snapdragon 780G chipset backed by either 6 or 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM. My review sample is the 8 gig model and as you can see there did very respectably in the Geekbench 4 tests. But of course to really put it through its paces I'm going to get a bit of Genshin Impact on the go because what better way to test a smartphone's gaming prowess. Now, as I mentioned before, gamers have a lot of tools built into MIUI that they can rely on just to help boost the performance and stop any notifications and other distractions from interrupting you mid-game. You could also record the gameplay or even cast it if you want others to revel in your extreme skills, if you have extreme skills. I myself have no mad skills. I can just about beat up a slimy dude in Genshin Impact, which, by the way, played pretty damn well here on the Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite 5G on those medium detail settings at 60 frames per second. The Adreno 642 GPU copped admirably with pretty much everything that happened on screen. I did see some judders here and there. My main concern was that the back of the Mi 11 Lite 5G did get rather toasty, like proper toasty, after about 20 to 30 minutes of gameplay, so you will want to have short bursts at best. The actual screen itself was perfectly responsive as well with its 240Hz touch response rate, uh, so definitely no worries there, and those gaming tools definitely helped out. And yes, there is of course a 5G modem built into that 780G as well, so the Mi 11 Lite 5G has 5G support. As for the battery tech, you've got a 4,250mAh cell just like the standard Mi 11 Lite, which I had absolutely no troubles with, by the way, on the battery life front, as long as you don't absolutely rinse it with lots of Skype and Zoom and camera play and gaming, then you'll make it until you're tucked up with Teddy with a bit of charge left in the bank. And you once again have 33 watt fast charge support as well, so not bad at all for a budget blower. So now let us finish up with a squint at the triple lens rear camera setup here on the back end of the Mi 11 Lite 5G, which is spearheaded by a 64 megapixel shooter. And this actually shoots at 16 megapixels by default rather than the full 64 meg, but you can flick to the more section and in here you will find a 64 megapixel mode 
you want to shoot at that maximum resolution. But that's only really recommended when the lighting conditions are really good, otherwise that pixel bin in will help out. You do of course have full HDR smart, you've got the usual AI mode shenanigans, just to help tweak the mode depending on what you're trying to shoot a picture of. You do also have an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, you can swap to it anytime if you want a more pulled back view, although sometimes the likes of the, uh, the colour reproduction takes a bit of a hit. And that final lens is unfortunately a 5 megapixel telemacro lens, which I still don't see the point in at all, but some people like them. This just allows you to get in super close to your subject, particularly good if you like taking pictures of ants or ladybirds. You've also got all the usual camera fare on here, including of course a portrait mode to add a nice bokeh style background effect. You've got yourself a pro mode, which allows you to play around with the likes of the ISO levels, the shutter speed, the white balance to get exactly the right kind of shot that you need. In the more section is where you'll find the night mode buried away to help you get a nice bright low light shot, although the AI mode will help you to swap to that automatically if you have that on anyway. And then if we swap to video, as usual, this is set to full HD at 30 frames per second by default, but you can bump that up to 60 frames per second if you want a more hyper real result. Otherwise, bump up the resolution to 4K if you want a bit more detail packed in there. And then of course you do have that single front face and selfie snapper as well. It's a 20 megapixel sensor and I'm sure this will be absolutely fine for your everyday shots just like it was on the Mi 11 Lite. And of course you can shoot a nice portrait shot. Ah! And uh, yeah, stunning stuff as always. So that right there in a nutshell is Xiaomi's Mi 11 Lite 5G, which as you can see is very, very similar to the standard Mi 11 Lite, except because you've got those 5G smarts courtesy of the upgraded Snapdragon 780G chipset. Should hopefully be available here in the UK direct from Xiaomi on its website pretty much as this video goes live. Not sure of the exact UK price as I said before but I'll update it in the description but it is €369. Euros. Definitely a respectable price for some solid specs and features chucked in there as well. Go check out my full Mi 11 Lite review if you want a closer look at the likes of the camera tech and everything and of course I've rounded up my favourite budget smartphones under £400 and under £300 right now as well so go check that out for ideas of close rivals. And for more on the latest and greatest tech please do pause, subscribe, ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers everyone, love you! Thank you.